helps them make that connection with us. And I think it's uh, just an extra outreach for the patients to feel, uh, you know, not only connected, but be able to then follow with the instructions that the physician is giving. My wife um, actually has been to the hospital a couple of times now since the corona thing all started. It just seemed like a, a great way to, to try to contribute a little bit. Uh, you know, a, a smile goes a long ways. My name is Gurvinder Kaur. Um, I'm an internal medicine physician. We have to make sure that we're keeping our patients safe, number one, but also our staff should be safe during this process. We you know, certainly have to make sure we're wearing the PPE. Um, that does impair how much, you know, how easily we can communicate with the patients since they're not able to really see us. Our personal protective equipment includes a face shield, we have to wear an N95 mask, that is to help prevent us from breathing in any of those particles. Um, we certainly have to wear a, a gown, that is to prevent any of the contact happening between the patient and the clinician. We're very used to creating a, so, a sort of a trust with our patients based on how not only our verbal communication, but also the non-verbal communication. You know, the patients are able to best trust us when they're able to see us, uh, you know, and that is right now impaired because really not much of our face is visible at all to the patients. And um, if the patient is not able to build that trust quickly, obviously it impairs their ability to follow through the instructions that we want them to follow through with. And um, it does sometimes delay the healing process for them as well. Uh, my name is Brett Brakeman and I'm a printer. Been a printer for about 45 years. The website automatically generates the, the label, sends a PDF over to me. I grab those, download them, put them together and run them four up on a sheet. We give every doctor at least 50 of these so that they have some to change out every day. I've got enough stock to do probably about 120 doctors worth. You know, again, I think the biggest thing is the trust. When they don't see our face, they're not able to see, let us know who this person is and how can I trust them and how do I develop that rapport with them. So that's why we decided we should give them at least some extra um, way of connecting with us. They could actually see the, see the person, uh, some got excited, and, you know, and, and some said, oh, your eyes are exactly the same because that's the only part they can sometimes see. So yes, the ability to be able to connect with them and you know, hear their life stories, be able to um, you know, understand, empathize with what they've been going through. I think every time I see patients, I grow as a person because I'm able to connect with their life stories. It's, it's an amazing thing to be doing that. It's very gratifying.